Mehmet. Can you tell Rami to come out and see me, quick? All right. Rami, uh, your wife wants to see you right away. Come, come, come. Can you serve these, please? Okay. What happened, Mukadis? What happened? Nothing. I just wanted to go to the bazaar. Do you have any money that I can have? Uh, I'll get some. There's none in your pants? No, no, no. The money's in my jacket. Hello. How's my little daughter? Are you going to the bazaar with Mama? <sighs> come on, Rami. Do you think that I can stand here and wait until the evening? So come on in. No, I won't come in. I don't want to see your sister in there. But Fatma Gul's not in there. Uh, she passed her exam, and she went to tell Karim about the good news, so, uh... So tomorrow she'll have a driving test, and she'll have a driver's license, she will. Just so you know, I don't care. It's getting late, and all the good food will be sold before I arrive, Rami. Look at what you've done to me, Rami. I'm waiting here at the door like a beggar. Go on and hurry up, go on! Here you are. Thanks so much. Please enjoy it. Mukadis, would you like to come inside? She's unbelievable. What's your problem now, Mukadis? What's the matter? She invites me inside. She says, hello, Mukadis. She doesn't care about any of us. She doesn't care if we live or if we die. Don't say that, Mukadis. Don't say that. They ask me about you. They all care. Oh, it's your sister who asks. She's just making a show. Oh, here's Fatma Gul. She's coming. No, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, Rami. You know what the truth is? I'll be the one who will have the last laugh. The time will pass, and you'll apologize to me. I know you will. Huh. Okay. Uh-oh. Hey. Hey. Why are you here? What do you want? I come here to talk to Fat Magul. What? I really have to see Fat Magul. What happened to him? You can't see Fat Magul. No, you can't. Go on, go on, go on. You cannot see her. Go. Look, you go now or I'll call the police. You go right now. Go on. Get out of here. I just want to apologize to Fat Magul. Please. Look, I don't care if you're sick. I'll get you out of here by force. What are you doing in here now? Uh, uh, hello there. How can you come here now? How can you come here? I have come here to apologize to Fat Magul. Fat Magul's not here now. Please go now. Listen to me. Oh, please. I am sorry. You are lying now. It's a lie. You're here because you want something. I came here, although I'm so ill. Please, just listen. I... I'm sorry, Fafat Magul. I need to see her right now. But it's too late for this now, Mr. Assad. It is. You should have done this before, back when we came and we tried desperately to talk with you. It has been one and a half years since that time. Fat Magul has suffered so much in all of that time. 
You're right in everything that you're, that you're saying. Well, of course I'm right. We were always right. And so you did, you did your best to make everyone believe that we were all guilty. But you couldn't make them believe. You weren't able to do that. I'm paying the penalty for the things right. I'm serious. I really mean that I'm very regretful. And I'm sorry, so sorry. We don't believe you now. We do not. We can't believe a horrible man like you. You talk like that because soon there'll be a trial. You're here for you, not for her. In fact, you're really here to save your conscience. You don't need to disturb Fatma Gul. Just confess everything when you show up to tell everything at the trial. But you won't do something like this, will you? You won't. You didn't do it at the beginning, and you're not going to go do it now. I tell you, I'm paying my penalty now. It's good that you understand. But it's too late. Way too late. Now I've lost everything. All my work, my money. And you see that I lost my health. I really lost everything. Please, won't you help me with this, Mariam? I... I want to have a talk with her about, about the trial. There's so much I need to say. Uh, if I, I end up, if I end up in prison. Ah, you see that? See, you're here for yourself. You're here for yourself. So then it's not because you're sorry. It's because you're afraid of her. Fatma Gul has way too much power now. Get out of here now. Go on, time for you to go. Uh, uh, Mary, uh, uh, what? I hope you get better. Go on. Get out now, get out now. Go on. It was you. It was you who caused it all. You're being crazy. <sighs> I heard everything from you and I was confused. What are you saying? You started to negotiate. I didn't have the time to think think about because of the way that you were acting then you know oh really would you have taken your child to the police if you had time to think about it huh you told me that we could come to an agreement and you told me that you wanted to save slim first huh You're responsible for everything, everything. Uh-uh. What was he talking about? Allah, Allah! He's just trying to make us pity him. If he's feeling so sorry, he can take his son to the police station. It's all about him. He's only trying to put the blame on me now, you see? Rami, why aren't you saying anything about how I was just treated? Stop, Mukadi, stop now. 
Just go to the bazaar and be quiet. How dare you tell me to be quiet? Is Rasat Yasser Ron right then, Rami? Is Karem right and I'm the guilty one? Why are you talking about Karem? What are you saying? Don't forget the reality. You have to think about all that you have done before you go blaming me and treating me like everything's all my fault. Oh, Allah, this is enough. <laughs>